Hi guys, how you doing today? How's your day going? How's the weather outside? Here it's not too great. It's rainy and it's cloudy. It's not the best weather today and I'm hoping it's better your end. So my name is Mandy Lau and the video I'm doing today is regarding Birkenstock sandals. And why have I chosen nearly the end of August to do this? Essentially, I thought I'd do it closer to the end of summer because then you can get hold of a good deal on a pair of Birkenstock sandals because you can get it a bit cheaper and get it ready for next year. So I'm gonna be going over my Birkenstock sandals but I've also got hold of sandals at TK Maxx. And this isn't Birkenstock but it's a comparison I would like to do in this video. So let's get started with the Birkenstocks first. All right guys, so these are the Birkenstock sandals. These ones I've got off from uh, the Birkenstock website directly. And the reason why I didn't purchase these, let me just show you these first actually. So, okay, so that's how it looks. Yeah, okay, and the reason why I haven't purchased directly from say other retailers like say Office or Shoe, there's quite a few uh, retailers that sell these Birkenstock sandals. The reason for that is at Birkenstock they had they, they have the Birkenstock sandals like the ones that the other retailers sell. However, the finish on these ones are actually a bit different. So there's kind of um like a waxy kind of finish on these and the the finish is the way it looks is different from the ones you'll get from other retailers. Now you can get for those go for those as well, but I just had a little bit more of a preference for this specific style here and this specific colour and the way it looks. So uh, you're not gonna be able to see it on camera, it's a little bit difficult. Um but yeah it's like a brownish texture, waxy texture. And obviously you've got the, the logo like on all of them, oh, you're just not going to be able to see it's hidden. Wait, yeah, and then obviously, you've got the cork uh, sole, and then the bottom is kind of the grippy texture that will grip onto the floor. So, if you buy the, the normal ones, obviously, there's a sale on right now with the quite a few retailers. But if you buy the normal ones that haven't got like this kind of finish, that would cost you around 60 pounds, 60 to 65 pounds, depending really on the retailer, to be fair. These ones, due to the finish on the uh, the sand or the leather, these ones costed £75. So yeah, they are dear, they're a little bit expensive, but I just prefer this model. The Birkenstocks are uh, previous to this. They were the £65 model that I've just got from Office, and that lasted me four years. Four years, yeah. One thing I would do though, if you're buying it from Birkenstock directly, I forgot to do this, but I want to get uh, actually purchase this as well. The actual, uh, how do you say it, the sole here, it gets dirty pretty quickly. I mean, it gets dirty really, really fast. So what I would recommend here is buying the cleaning kit directly from Birkenstock when you purchase these shoes. Or if you're buying it from Office, then go ahead and buy the cleaning set from uh, Birkenstock. Because you need to keep these clean. When, when they start getting dirty, it's just horrible. And I did try out some options on YouTube where people were using like toothbrushes and uh, say bacon soda mix with other things and cleaning the the sole and it, it I mean it provided some sort of uh, like cleanse um, but it didn't look as nice as it originally did um, so I would just rather spend a little bit more and go with the Birkenstock cleaner so yeah it depends on your you know your own preference but yeah I just I rather get the cleaner with it. So actually I've noticed it's got quite a shiny finish here. I just noticed it now, it's really shiny. Yep, and then you have the logo there as well. If you can see that. Yeah. So yeah, I would highly recommend this upper leather, cork, uh, sole, nice grippy uh, platform. I actually picked up uh, something from TK Maxx and I was really surprised. So. The, these sandals are not Birkenstock, however, um, I got them, this is only like a week ago by the way, so you may want to check out your local TK Maxx. So they were originally £60, 
and they were reduced. So this is how these look like. I actually really like them. As soon as I saw them uh, on the display, I was like, wow, they actually look quite nice. But it's got like a black sole. So these are the shoes. Uh, can you see it? That's how it looks all around. And you've got the, the beautiful, how do you say it? Uh, Maroony my myogany um, leather straps. So, yeah, and it's got black sole, and the brand is Bio Comfort, made in Spain. So with these, uh, I saw it on display, and I was like, "Wow, they look really nice." And my friend was saying, "Yeah, try it on. It looks really nice on your. F you know, I think they'll look really nice on you." And they actually did. I was surprised. They looked good. These, yeah, like I said, they were reduced from sixty to ten pounds. Like. Let me show you the price here, if you can see it. Can you see it? I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, huge reduction. And to be fair, I, I actually, a little bit more like the looks of these ones here, um, compared to the Birkenstocks. So that's my, I, I just, just a little bit more, the Birkenstocks are equally good. but. Just a little bit more, so if you have a look. It just looks really nice on the feet, actually. Um, in terms of uh, like durability and how they will wear, I haven't had a chance to wear them. I just wanted to show them new to you guys. And then obviously, if you want to see how they uh, work afterwards, uh, in terms of how, it go, how they go for me, then do let me know. Sorry guys, had to stop the video, there was my battery light started to flicker, so yeah, my luck. But yeah, uh, I could do a video in terms of how these wear, if you like. The Birkenstocks, I already know, they go uh, a long time and they're extremely robust and durable because I had them for four years and they were still going incredibly well. There was no damage to the shoe at all. The only thing it was that it's the sole that got really dirty. So if you prefer a black sole, I'm not actually sure if Birkenstock does that, but if you prefer a black sole, this brand does do it. Uh, which is available at TK Maxx. Uh, in terms of like side by side comparison with the Birkenstock, so let's just grab one of each. So the leather, if I start with the leather first, uh, the sole, I actually like both the colours of the soles, it's just one gets more dirty than the other, so it's the colour preference is your choice. Uh, in terms of the texture of the sole, it's pretty even they feel the same I thought they would have felt a little bit different because of you know Birkenstocks is considered up there but it's pretty similar uh, there's no branding like the Birkenstock uh, on the side none at all it's it's pretty simple um, in terms of the strap here the strap it, the Birkenstock strap is a little bit more thicker in terms of the leather in comparison to this Bio Comfort one. This is much thinner. I'm not gonna say, yeah, it's a little bit thinner. Um, but I'm not sure, like I said, I don't know how this is gonna wear until I actually try it. Um, in terms of the cork, they're both actually pretty shiny. They've both got a fair bit of shine to them. Uh, yeah, I think they're equally just as shiny, so. Or should I just put it like this if it's easier if you can see? Yep. And <coughs> sorry guys. In terms of how it looks and you know the quality and uh if you know they look pretty comparable to be fair, except some parts I can see on the bio comfort there's a little bit a tad bit of glue that you can see. Uh, but it's yeah here there if you, I don't like I said I don't know if you can see it but I can see a little bit of glue that's joining the the sole and the the grippy part of the the footbed together the bottom of these here they're actually identical that's the funny thing they're identical so yeah they're identical just a tad bit difference in terms of the design but otherwise they look quite they look quite close. I mean, the design, the wiggly lines may be a little bit different, but uh, how they feel is identical as well. So, 
yeah so if you want a, uh, something that's comparable but you don't want to spend the big price tag that the Birkenstock has even though the the price tag is justifiable in terms of the quality then you may want to go for this one over here um, you can check out your local TK Maxx in America it's TJ Maxx if I'm correct I may be wrong uh, they may have something that's comparable as well it's really your choice if you want to make an investment because these Birkenstocks from experience they have lasted a long time so I can highly recommend those in that respect but you know it depends again on your wallet and, and your affordability and how much you want to splash out so yeah I hope that helps um, <clears throat> I will have a video coming very soon in the next day or two. I'm going to try to do videos on a regular basis, so three to four videos a week, three being the minimum, so I can get more, because I've got quite a few purchases that I've done through the years that, that is new, and like I said in my previous video, I've kept all this uh, when I do the recording for YouTube, but like I said before, I was procrastinating and wasted so much time. But yeah, I'll be showing you those. Guys, if you can support me, I would greatly appreciate it by one, hitting the like button, and two, subscribing. Um, I'll be ecstatic, and you know, if you can give feedback in terms of videos, that would be great. Guys, hope you have a fantastic day and a lovely week ahead, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. See ya!